favorite portion of the show, the notion of the week. I decided to slightly change it up a little bit this week. Uh, I guess it's still technically a notion or supply used for bag making, but I've got a lot of email questions lately about using uh, stretchy or garment fabrics to make a bag, and so I thought I'd actually show it on the show. So recently I showed a couple backpacks that I made for myself and my daughter, and I actually made these using knit fabric. So the print fabric is a knit, and the blue is a uh, quilting cotton. So I wanted to show you how I actually used a stretchy fabric to make a bag. So I'm gonna jump over to the side camera and show you how, to, how I did it. It's really fast and easy. Okay, so I, I've got a knit fabric right here. As you can see, super stretchy. And as you can tell, a stretchy fabric would, will be really problematic for sewing together into a bag if it still has the stretch because then it'll get warped and pulled every which way while you're sewing with it. So um, obviously I've got the fabric right here and I went ahead and there's two different ways you can do this. Um, the first way is that you can interface the entire portion. Obviously you'll be having a bigger piece of knit fabric to make a bag. You can interface either the entire portion with the pound shape flex or what I did for those backpacks is I cut out all of my pattern pieces first with Pellon Shape Flex, which is a fusible medium weight interfacing. And then I fused each of the pieces individually onto the wrong side of my fabrics. Obviously you wanna iron your knit first to make it nice and smooth and take out any wrinkles. Um, but let, let me just show you real quick how I did this. So obviously my pattern piece right here, I'm gonna flip to the wrong side of the knit fabric. And I've got my, my iron set to the cotton setting. Um, you'll want to obviously place the shape flex on the area where you'll want to cut out, especially if you're fussy cutting little characters or shapes from your fabric. I'm just going to go ahead and place it uh, right in the middle just for this demonstration. And you can use a bit of steam if you'd like. I usually recommend using a pressing cloth for um, attaching interfacing to your fabric, but um, by now you might know that I don't use pressing cloths in my videos just so you can see everything that I'm doing. Okay, so you want to iron that long enough so that the interfacing is firmly adhered to your fabric. And then you can just go ahead with your scissors and cut out around the shape flex. And you want to be careful when you're doing that because since I cut the shape flex to the size of the fabric piece that I'll need for the pattern, um, if I if I adjust it or cut it smaller or larger, it'll affect how the finished bag comes together. And the nice thing about this is if you accidentally place the shape flex in an area of the fabric that you don't want, or if you fused a really big piece of shape flex to the fabric and you don't need to use the entire thing for cutting out your pattern pieces, um, you can just go ahead and easily rip that off. So here's my fabric piece and the stretch um, horizontally or selvage to selvage is taken out. There's still a little bit of stretch left on the bias, which is kind of normal. Quilting cottons will stretch on the bias as well. And if your fabric is super, super stretchy, you can also attach a second piece of the shape flex, but I feel like the one piece is, is quite enough. I also follow the same process if I'm using another garment fabric, such as rayon, um, something that's not stretchy but has a lot of drape or is thinner. So I'll use the shape flex to give it a little bit more body. And then you'll follow the instructions in whatever pattern you're working on um, for like the, for example, for the exterior of the bag, I might then go ahead and attach this to the foam interfacing, but having that shape flex on there is the first step to being able to use a knit or stretchy fabric for making a bag with. Okay, so I, I hope that solved any questions about using different types of fabric for bag making. Um, those backpacks that I made with the knit fabrics, the Shape Flex uh, does give it a little bit of extra thickness, um, at least a little bit thicker than the quilting cotton, but I still found it relatively easy to work with in using the same interfacings as called for in the pattern. So I finished.